Hello, this is day six of the motorhome rebuild and reconstruction and uh, let's have a look at what's happened because we can now see how things are advancing. To start off with, I'm in the garage and there's now a brand new floor on the garage. So uh, I think they did a really good job on this and we know it can take 150 kilos at least because there were two of us standing in there. I'm giving a rough guess on the two weights. Still work has to be done here. There's still a gap down there for example so we've still got to put uh, continue the wall down to the bottom. Outside we need to put the light. There's no lights on it uh, from the rear end. Uh, they haven't arrived yet. And um, uh, another thing that we're doing here, this is the bed and in order to give more support to the bed, a support aluminium profile was added here and we've uh, added strength to it at this end and strength is uh, going to be added here, it hasn't actually been done uh, yet. So uh, that will give more uh, support here if uh, uh, suddenly you put on a lot of weight and fall through or something like that. Now one of the problems you might have remembered is the uh, black moulds that uh, formed. Now black mould forms because of condensation. Did the condensation happen because it was cold or was it because of uh, a lack of air or was it a bit of both? Now we're not absolutely certain how to resolve this issue. We're going to try first of all with uh, heating the garage, see if that works. Another idea that came to me, or thanks to people who uh, saw it online, and that was to use these sort of uh, plastic spring-like structures. For example, there's a company called Frovi in Germany, and they supply beds of that nature. So anyway, we're going to try and see if we can resolve it. And I will be coming back to this issue of the mould, uh, just to check up and see how it's going. Because it's going to affect a lot of you, not just me. Uh, I know it affects other people as well. Now, I'm going to come through there and let's have a look at what we've done in the habitation area. So, you might have seen the, uh, the heating panels we had down. Well, we, we, we've taken them up until such time as uh, we can actually connect them. But that was to show you what we're going to do with them. And uh, let's see how the heating panels will actually work. Because we're gonna, they'll be on the floor, they'll be against the wall here. But if that doesn't work, it's still a little bit on the cold side, uh, we can also add them to the ceiling. It'll be a bit of a shame because we'll have to take some of the uh, stuff down. As you can see, uh, we stripped the wallpaper on, almost all the wallpapers off. Uh, and what we are going to do is add a bit of insulation, I mean something like that, metal on one side, got the insulation on the other, stick that on the wall, and uh, the ceiling I should say, and that will stop the heat escaping. Uh, other things we're going to do, uh, though not immediately, and that's to change the skylights up here. It's a company called MKF in, uh, in Germany, another one I'm going to add there, skylights. Uh, I've got one at the back, but anyway, uh, haven't, uh, haven't even ordered them yet. So uh, that's a, one or two things which uh, we're going to start on today. Other things will take a little bit longer. And another thing, there's a little bit of work going on on the engine as well, and uh, but that's uh, sort of separate to the whole thing. Okay, uh, see what we're doing in the following film.
So what we've done now is we've put down the heating foil. It's now all been connected to the sensor, which is up here. And we're now getting ready to start putting down the next layers in the van. seven and a half degrees outside and uh, in the van though the underfloor heating is working and we've set it at 30 degrees and as I sit here on the floor I can feel the heat coming through I touch it touch all of them it's working everywhere and uh, to be quite honest sitting on this in this temperature it's okay it's it's reasonably pleasant, but of course in winter it will be very pleasant. And you can see the temperature.